everybody, it's Tropical Craft Pagan here at it with another video and today is Tuesday, so it's Tea Times Tuesday, ooh, 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 yeah, hey, so I have tea here and of course I got my little tea, um, this is $20, um, a total wine and um, I love this, one of my favorite ones to, you know, just chill, relax and have a good time with myself, so what is, um, Tea Times uh, Tuesday, and I want to let you guys uh, know that I posted a video earlier before I did, I'm doing with this one, and so Tea Times Tuesday is basically uh, talking about like any Persian quotes that I post on Facebook, so if you haven't followed me uh, or like be my friend on Facebook, go ahead, uh, find me on Facebook as uh, Victoria Pagan, and uh, probably some of the quotes that I'm going to show you a picture of. Um, you will be able to see there my profile and my name and um, everything so you guys will see like um, what picture I actually have for my profile so you'll be able to find me easily. Okay, so let's pour our tea in here. It's nice and warm. You can see the steam coming out. It's hot so of course I have to put a cube of ice. And this one is um, herbal tea, lemon, and ginger. Um, so it's natural, caffeine uh, free. So I hope so. I hope so. It's good ginger and lemon, right? Because it helps with skin. And this one is also good for the skin. It's a super antioxidant. Um, help reduce free radicals, which um, it, uh, it attacks the atoms. You know, so um, you know, there's some atoms that kill the cells that make you age. Now I should find a better place for the tea. Let's place it here. Hopefully it's not hot. Let's, let's have some. Let me get the honey really quick. <laughs> yeah, tea with honey tastes so much better. <laughs> okay. And then we start with the quotes. Um, they those quotes are encouraging. Um, it just helps you view life in a different way, and it's it's good because um, you know sometimes we go through things in life. Uh, sometimes uh, you know our people that uh, live with us or around us they can be toxic, and um, you know instead of building us up, they push us down. So it's time to have uh, me time time to you know time to like read some positive things at times a little bit more more honey Okay. Mm, yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna start with the quotes, and these are per, uh, personal quotes, quotes that I wrote myself. <sighs> this thing. <laughs> well, anyways, let's leave it at that. And so we, we're gonna start now. And once I say a quote, I'm gonna put my input and describe what I mean with these quotes. Okay, so we start first with um, this one. It says, when we mess up, life experiences is the best teacher. Silence to reflect, understanding to acknowledge, forgiveness to move on, and love to heal, tropical craft pagan. So um, basically what I'm saying is like, you know, we all need silence sometimes, like wow, if, even if, if it feels lonely. Uh, especially if you feel this way it's because maybe like, like you don't love yourself um you know because you need someone to approve something to make you feel like oh yeah i'm doing the right thing uh um you know what uh maybe like i should keep this person here maybe they don't influence us in a good way but because they always agree with us um in anything like maybe like we feel like that's a push to like you know to motivate us but that's just a trick that's the mask that comes you know with like some uh people at times so one way to you know like really get people that inspire us and want to help us is by you know by really like talking to that person and like if you know that person very very well you know you know if they want to be there for you and if they will are willing to tell you the truth no I mean, look you're not doing this right maybe like you know try something better like they won't push you down to say like stop doing what you're doing but like maybe like you know change some things around so for the better okay so sometimes to, to reflect this will help us uh, meditate it will help us to come in sense of who we are like rooted to ourselves understanding and acknowledge um, so to understand is saying like you know what maybe um i was doing it wrong like um you know and 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 that's when the acknowledging comes through is when saying yeah i accept you know i wasn't doing it right um and i was going wrong about it but since now i understand what i can do now now and you know and acknowledging this now it helps me to say okay i closed this uh phase of my life and let me continue my journey because now i know what to do forgiveness to move on um this one is basically um it, it's it's simple it's something that you know every person uh should be able to forgive i know like some of us can be stubborn you know uh, maybe like hard-headed towards other people m maybe sometimes to ourselves and that's like you know clarifying the, this um, to the point where you know sometimes we punish ourselves and you know that's being realistic you know like if you if you know you're doing that and you still do it like that's not going to help us you know to um, develop ourselves to grow as people you know and so but like some people don't know about psychology you know some people don't know you know what they're doing and this is when when we get lost in our journey but that's why we gotta like find people that you know that want to help us that want to motivate us um you know finding quotes out there the positive quotes uh you know listening to lewis hay uh tony robbins like those people like really like boost our confidence because you know maybe we come from a dark place where we were mistreated or something like that so by us finding um topics like this it will help us like sooner or later like it will take probably a year two years three years um, for me it took three years so you know it's, it's it's a consistency and once you do that you know sooner or later uh you will become uh productive it's like the symbol of the lotus flower right when we come from uh deep down from the water and and rise up from the murky waters and blossom to the you know to the uh surface of the water and then love and heal yeah love to heal so what love does is like when we accept everything that i just spoke about you know to wrap this up um that's when you know we start like with the consistency that's when we continue uh you have to start on a point right and then you have to continue to heal yourself to love yourself 
and that's when the healing process takes place you know and it goes and it goes and goes until like one day you liberate yourself and you're like wow and you look back you, you know you have flashbacks and you think wow like i used to have shackles you know i used to have chains that was dragging me down you know and, and you know sometimes we don't even know the weight that we carry from other people so we gotta like release that and move on uh you know with our lives so now um let me go to the next quote so now this one it says um life is just and i quote life is just a story so everyone gets to choose a theme in their lives what you seek as a theme in life is what you get as your story tropical craft pain okay so basically what i'm saying here is like and this quote uh, is one of my favorite ones because um it really speaks to me and it came from my from the bottom of my heart so i hope like it will help someone out there you know that is um waiting to get inspired that wants to get inspired and maybe like you know some people are not listening to you your your loud voice even though you're screaming for help and some people they they have pain and you know and in within themselves that um, they don't know how to express it and and it's just that silent voice in your in your head and you, you know because you feel like your your light has um, has turned off so you know if you continue to to look for things like I just spoke about earlier you will sooner or later you know you you come out um, in your own light Yeah, so everybody gets to choose a theme in their lives. Um, you know, it's, it's all our decision. Like, our decision does, um, you know, makes, like, every day, you know, it, like, most of the part of our lives. And then it says, what you seek as a theme is life. In life is what you get as your story. And that's true. You know, what, what our decisions, what we choose to do. Uh, like let's say for example like what do I choose to do today like that's what's going to uh, define my future as you know as I continue living okay um, this other one it says um, yeah haters will hate get used to it and keep driving this is just actually a thought it's not really a quote but it, it is true you know like there will be people that they see you trying and they want to help you like they want to um like help you thrive right so you gotta you you gotta do that for yourself you gotta motivate yourself and continue even though like maybe you don't get like enough followers enough like subscribers maybe you're not selling your art like in my case like i'm getting ready to start art so i'm hoping that the community will help me out and yesterday i went to um this facility like it's a it's a um, learning center um, facility and so they they bring kids in there like they have after school they need help with tutoring they need help with um like anything that's like creating stuff which i'm really good at creativity so i'm hoping like they will give me a call uh soon and i want to be able i told them you know i fill out the paper the application and so i told them that i was going to um be available um sundays mondays and tuesdays so that would be nice because then i have three days inconsistently where i can like see the people the kids that come in and build up a relationship with them and i'm pretty good with psychology as well so i can like you know help a kid that maybe like had a bad day a bad day or um some some struggles that maybe like be going out at home but you know he's scared of, like you know um say and things like that it's just like you know there's not many people out there that are willing to help us in this type of cases okay so yeah i can't wait to do community service and this is not like hours that i need for like school college or anything like that this is like something that i want to help uh, my community in as much as possible so you know even if i never get a reward or anything like that like i'm hoping that i will be able to like leave this world a better place than when i first found it this one is another one which I love. Um, it says, are you a leader or you are zombie to other people's life? So, you know, there's other people out there that, um, that 
like you don't have to consider yourself a leader but you know like just be um stimulate other people's brain like help other people when it comes to like you know the home like how you decorate um how you like how you speak to them you know like you don't want to be the blood sucker that like gets people's you know juice out of them and so like yeah are you the leader of, of um, your home um like i said you don't have to call yourself a leader but like do you like help other people to like build themselves you know or you a zombie to other people's life like i grew up in a family that you know they really like sucked the life out of me um that i started to become like them more like them and then uh, as I was getting older, like I knew something was different with me at that time. And then when I started like, you know, coming to the light, then I realized, okay, you know, I, I have to like start listening to Louis. Hey, I didn't know nothing about meditation until like I was 18 years old, 19 years old, and I'm um, 22 now. So I, it hasn't been long since I started my journey with, you know, spirituality and um, meditation. So, you know, it's it's good to like help others, you know, maybe speak about this type of topics that many other kids or uh, people out there that don't know about uh, what spirituality is. And then I like this one <laughs> here. Wait, yeah, it's good. Hopefully, like you can see it, it won't be like flipped the other way. Okay, whoever you are, be your own universe. Walk your own journey. Be who you are. Be who, uh, be who you are meant to be, because you are meant to shine. Okay, so let me repeat this one more time. Who, whoever you are, be your own universe. Walk your own journey. Be who you are. Be who you are meant to be, because you are meant to shine. This is like this is basically me saying like uh, you know anybody that's listening to this video for example um, you know be your universe like we all you know each people's body is, is their own universe right they have their own world and so you know so if you are your if you are your own world you should follow your journey basically because um, because you know it's who you meant to be that's your own shining light that's your own start your own being so be it and when you are that's when you start shining because you are meant to shine as a star from the sky you know uh, <laughs> let's continue that sound corny as fuck <laughs> um winners are just only losers that never quit oh my gosh this like this speaks to me so much as well like every quote that i come up with is quotes that like really like i think about and i'm like hmm, like i this really made me think differently today so um yeah winners are just only losers and never quit cardi b was a loser you know when uh before like she even like um started doing uh stripping like before she you know became famous and there were many times where uh you know she still like had to to get herself um on the platform where maybe like people didn't believe in her but she already have her own followers after, after, you know after like she can continue to uh progress in her success and so um she already had her following so you know that's good who's another one uh, beyonce you know beyonce like how many times like did they uh put her down told her that her voice wasn't you know as great as, as many other singers out there and now she's a big influencer in our lives let's have some tea mm. Mm. no like there's many people out there that you know um that uh maybe like the haters for example they didn't believe on them um on, on in these people and they will try to drag them down put them down but you know they still thrive they're still go, um going in the journey because they believed in themselves and they followed what they felt it was right for them to do then that's what helps them you know be the um the the success they, they are so yeah, winners are just only losers that never quit. Mm -hmm. That's me. I relate to that. <laughs> um, another one. This was when I was eating. Um, I managed uh, choose, uh, choose Pure Love as well. Um, it's not my page. It's um, a friend's page. And she has her own following. She has her um, 
her own YouTube channel. Uh, she has like 10,000 10, followers and so. And so this was like one of like the food I posted in um, in her channel. And it says, uh, I'm eating vegetable rolls and rice and the, the, with a delicious salad. So then I said, after that, I said, eat what you love but make make sure it loves you back you know like it's good to you i'm not saying like be vegetarian or anything like that but eat healthy you know sense that it helps your skin it helps you know um you um you know clean your face it helps with you know your health and, and um in the you know like the most important of overall another one is like why not many people are teaching that self-love is our first self-individual guiding principles like this is something that each parents should um teach and because i didn't have this you know in my family so i'm thinking like now that i know better like and if i become you know now that i'm an influencer and when i become you know successful um then that's the time when um i i can like shine people's life like help them like come bring them with me like not carry them but just like give them those tools to let them know like okay what inspired me at first from the beginning to want to you know do my thing that i'm doing that now and that's because you know now i know self-love and who taught me that i, I taught them myself you know i learned that self-love really helped us improve it helps us learn faster it helps us uh, improve um our home especially at home right like where we live because everything starts on the table and also um it helps with our breathing too honestly because you know once we meditate it helps it helps opening um our solar plexus it helps opening the seven chakras and once like you know we have everything like all our gears within our body like we have it fixed up to um to like you know like breathe the right the right way you know and because breathing does have to do a lot of personality like the way you breathe it like really indicates how your personality is so like most of the zombies out there right most of the people that are like so negative most of them they they don't breathe they don't like they they, they can't because they have so much pain now their body is like it's trapped it's like their body their um their chest is it's it's condensed so they're not like losing they're not losing now they're not like you know like letting those pain and 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 those energies that keeping them trapped they're not letting it go so therefore like it keeps them it, it, it stops them from breathing and that's basically like hurting their their health their body health Okay, and I, I, I love this one too. And I, of course, I love the, um, the, the image. I'm gonna show you. So this one I posted on Wednesday. Here. That image is nice. So, and it says, the things I do for others, I don't expect anything in return because I trust the universe uh will give it all to me tropical craft bacon um and i'm saying with this is that um you know as long as i you know i do things without an expectation like right now um i'm just doing this video i don't even know how, how many likes i'm gonna get probably one two maybe zero but guess what i'm gonna like myself this video and <laughs> i'm gonna like myself this video and i'm gonna keep thriving i'm gonna keep trying you know if i fell many times i'll be it'd be 10 years from now i'll still be doing these videos and it's okay so uh going back to the reading and it says the things i do for others i don't expect anything in return because i trust the universe will give it all to me yeah sooner or later you know if i keep thriving things will happen for me i know that i know that already <laughs> okay everybody so for right now uh this is all the quotes i have basically like what i do is i post um, a new quote on uh on facebook and yeah so if you want to see my quotes go to facebook you'll see um my name uh, victoria pagan and that's the same image i have for my youtube channel that's the same image i have for my face excuse me for my facebook 
and so if you want to see them before i post them here on youtube please go uh friend me right now on facebook and you'll be able to see them all before um before i post them so basically what i do like i i'll save all the quotes from every day and uh you know around the week and then when it's tuesday that's when i like um i I put them together and then I start like doing the, the tea time Tuesday. So please, um, you know, follow me on Facebook and uh, like this video if you like the positive quotes that I just um, talked about you right now. And so give it a like, please subscribe and please uh, set your notification on so you can get new um, new notifications when you when I every time I do a new video. Okay, so thank you. Love yourself. Bye.